everyone, it's Christian. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video for you guys. So I've got a whole stack of different odds and ends, clothing, accessories, shoes, bags and some homeware. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is some makeup. I picked up this Napoleon Camera Finish Powder Foundation. I got the colour Gold Sand. Um, it was recommended by a friend of mine who works for Napoleon. It comes in this little black case and then it's like, oh, it's upside down. It's like gold and then when you open it, it's a very, very flash looking. It looks like that. It comes with a little sponge, but I find that the sponge seems to just stack the powder on my face heaps. Heaps more than I would like and it just looks gross. So I tend to use a brush and it looks a lot better. I don't actually remember how much this was because I did get it through my friend who works in Napoleon, but I think it may have been, I'm just guessing, like 50 or 50-ish dollars? Yeah, $50. The next piece of makeup that I picked up from Napoleon is this lipstick. It is um, the Divine Goddess lipstick by Napoleon and it's in the colour Hess. It's like a nude pink colour, but more nude than pink. It looks like that, I hope you can see it. Um, it's just a real natural colour, it's not over the top or very pink, it's more nude than anything else. But it's got a bit of a pink tone to it. Um, I think this was about $20. Next, I picked up these really cute flats from Iconic. They were only $20 and there was free shipping and they are by a brand called Walnut. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all. I just love them. I wore them recently to my friend's wedding. I was maid of honour and we both had matching yellow flats so I wore them and so did she, the bride. Um, wore them for dancing at the reception and yeah, it was really cute. Next, I went to Kmart and I picked up these two sort of sloppy joe jumper things. It's, they're not very exciting, they just look like that. They're long sleeve, they're like a thin sort of jumper material, I don't even know what that is. But I bought them because they were only $5. I bought this colour and I bought a pink and I thought they would be excellent for winter, you know, wearing them to bed or around the house when you just want to be lazy and relaxed and do absolutely nothing. So I thought for $5, that's really good. So then I went into Maya. I picked up these skiing leg jeans. I hope that the colour is going to come out nice. It's a beautiful, like, deep purple plum colour. Um, they were $20. There was a whole stack of mischopped skiing leg jeans that were all reduced to $20. And they had, um, like, solid colour ones and they also had some patterned ones. So if you wanted to get some skiing leg jeans to stock up for winter that's coming up here in Australia, well, it's not coming up, but it'll be here before we know it, um, I'd suggest going to Maya and checking those out. Then I stopped by this cute little boutique called Lush Arena. They have really cute dresses and they've also got baby clothes, which is kind of weird, but obviously I just went in for the dresses. Um, and they've also got like other clothing. So I picked up this really nice maxi skirt. It's got a thick kind of waist band section at the top and then it just flares heaps out. So this is the pattern. I just, I'm really into maxi dresses at the moment. Maxi dresses, maxi skirts, anything maxi just makes me happy. And it also came with this brown plaited belt. And this was reduced from $35 to $29. So I thought that was a good deal. And then I popped into the Supre warehouse. I love going to the Supre warehouse. Not because Supre has like heaps of clothes that I particularly like, but because of the prices for those clothes. And I think they're really good for basics and casual things. So um, I picked up this tee. Um, it's like a really nice soft cotton material and it's like oversized in style and it's got a really exciting purple and blue galaxy print and this was only $7.50. It's got a bit of gathering at the back, I'm not sure if you can see that, it's just across the seam line, seam line there. Um, then also from Supre I picked up a black pair of skinny leg jeans, there's no point in showing you these, they're just black skinny leg jeans. Um, I tend to find that with my skinny leg jeans, or any jeans for that matter, I wear them to work and then the knee fades heaps because I'm a school teacher and I'm constantly on the ground doing stuff with the kids, so I hate spending like 60 or $80 on jeans when, you know, two weeks later they're pretty much disgusting and wrecked. So 
I found these at the Supro Warehouse and they were reduced from $45 down to $25 and then from $25 down to $10. So I picked up these for $10. The last thing I picked up from the Supre Warehouse was this dress. Now, this dress isn't anything special, but it was a dollar. Yes, a dollar. So, I had to buy it. Um, I mean, it's still a pretty dress. It's got a cute little pattern on it. I like florals, and I just thought it would be nice for just around the house and just wearing it casually. It's very, very soft cotton. Um, and for a dollar, I just thought, you know, it could just be like my makeup dress, the dress you put on when you're putting your makeup on. So... Yeah, I couldn't not buy it for a dollar. The next thing I bought is actually from eBay. I bought it from a seller called... I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called. However, I will put the link in the description box below so you can go and check it out. It was only $22 and that's including shipping from the UK. So that's ridiculous. I picked up this um, cape. It's a grey cape. I should have buttoned it up first, sorry. It's a grey knitted cape. It's got pom poms at the front. It's got little buttons and yeah, it's got three little buttons in the front and it's got a hood with a fur edge. Um, and it seems really well made and it arrived from the UK in a week. It was ridiculously fast time. So I'm sorry I couldn't show you that any better. It just looks really cute. I'm totally into capes right now. So I'm yeah, I'm just all I can think of is winter. I know it's ridiculously hot at the moment in Australia, but all I can think of is that it's going to be winter soon, and I just want to stock up on fun winter things. So that's what it looks like. So next, I dropped by Suzanne. Now I don't really normally go into Suzanne's for the clothing, but I do like to look at their accessories. They've always got some nice handbags, different bits and pieces. Um, I stopped and had a look at the tables that they've got all these like knickknacks for your house and I found this. How cute is this? It's like a little ceramic container um, and I was thinking it would be perfect to put my cat food in it for my cat because it's got meow written on it and I thought that was really sweet. So these were originally $20 but they were reduced down to $10 and then they had 30% off but then when I went to pay for it they only charged me $3.45 for this. So it must have been reduced even further, perhaps down to $5 or something. Wow, that's really cute. I love that. They also had a teal colored one that, that said woof in it, if you have a dog. So then I popped into Colette. Um, I have had this brown handbag for the last two years and it's pretty much dead and so I was on the lookout for another brown everyday handbag just to take with me absolutely everywhere that I would fall in love with and wear to death and so I looked in Colette and I came across this. I found this at Colette, it was $60 full price, um, it's not that exciting but I love the colour, it's a nice neutral creamy brown colour, um, it's got a pocket at the front here and it's zippered like the main part is zippered. It's got some nice gold chains to it and it's huge so it fits everything I ever needed to take with me every day everywhere. On my way out from Colette I actually saw this bag. I wasn't looking for a black bag but when I saw it I thought that it would be a really good idea to buy. Um, I always struggle to find appropriate sized handbags to wear when we're out at like events like um, engagements and weddings and other functions like that. Um, I do have clutches but I just find that I don't like any of them and I just wanted a new one. So I picked up this one. It's black and quilted and it's got a bow on it and it's got a black chain. And that's pretty much it. And it was $30. And it's a good size as well. It fits everything in it. You could fit a small wallet in there as well without a problem. So the last thing I'm going to show you is this blouse. That I picked up from eBay. I don't remember where it was from, like the listing. I will link it up below. It's a floral blouse um, with a white Peter Pan collar and matching white at the end of the sleeves. It is sheer and it's got a zipper down the back. And this was only $15 including shipping from some Asian country. I can't remember. I picked up the large because um, I find that I have bought things 
from Asian eBay sellers before and the sizes just run ridiculously small and I just, there's no point in spending any money if it doesn't fit you so I went for the large and it did fit me really well and I'd normally wear a 10 so if you're a 10 I'd go for a large as well and that's what it looks like there um, it might look a bit dirty there in the camera but that's because I tried it on and then I accidentally put makeup on it when I took it off Oops. so that's everything guys I hope you enjoyed my haul and I would love to hear your comments about what you thought and what you liked or whatever and that's pretty much it all right have a great day guys see you later bye boy, 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 boy. Hey everyone, it's Christy and today I am going to do a bit of a haul. Um, I bought this Napoleon Camera Finish Powdation... Powdation? Powdation? Oh my gosh. It's in Kmart and I picked up these two... For a little while now and I haven't had the chance to go in and spend it so I went in the other day there's so many airplanes what's that noise and then I stopped by this cute little boutique store in my area why am I telling you that it's in my area because it was looked like it was silk thank you then I went into Suzanne's oh my god airplane your house until you want to do a video and they all fly past your house.